500,000 years ago, a 100 meter 2 million ton space rock hit the Deccan Plateau at 18 kilometers a second. Lunar Lake is the Earth's only hypervelocity impact crater in basalt, a terrain similar to that on Mars. This is Lunar Lake. A meteorite came in at a low angle of about 35 degrees from the northeast. And then it cut this groove and impacted with a force of 6 megatons to create a 150 meter deep crater. The crater rim is 137 meters high with a 75 degree slope to the crater basin. It is 4.8 kilometers all around at the water level. The meteor's entry groove has a 12th century temple complex. This is the dhar, this thick, continuous stream feeding the crater, sacred as Ganga Bhagwati Teeth. These temples are of the later Peshwai type, While here on tier 2, they appear to be of the Yadavira based on their pillars and carvings. This panel depicts the Samudra Mantan. You can see this little site is a veritable mythology picture book in stone. We descend into the crater with the dhar along the meteor groove. This path and that in the crater basin are dotted with 10th to 12th century Yadavira temples. The Kumareshwar temple is historically significant in the Lonar complex as having a precise mention in the annals of the Suna Yadav king Kannadev. Besides the Dhar, the crater lake is fed by two other streams. Sita Nahani is the second stream. Lonar is a National Geo-Heritage Monument since 1979. Vegetation is of a dry deciduous type, mostly acacia trees, thorny bushes and different types of grasses. The Yajneshwar Temple, now in ruins, but observe the Dikpalas inside the mandap and above them, panels of war elephants. We are now in the basin. This is the third stream feeding the lake. We follow our guide to its source near the Ramgaya temple complex. This is a plain Yadav temple. Here behind, we have a step well. The eastern and western parts of the crater are covered with teak forests. At the water's edge is the Bagicha temple to Krishna. Note the panels on these pillars giving events from his life. Outlet of the water. And this beautiful pranala. Lunar Lake is an international Ramsar protected wetland since October 2020. This wetland has a unique freshwater band around a saltwater core. The shore is invaded by a Mexican weed, Prosopis julifora. A project employing locals is trying to restore the habitat. At the later Yadav-style Vag Mahadeo temple, 
is a population of Hanuman langurs. The Mor Mahadeo temple on the southeastern bank is another example of Himadpanti architecture. When the locals descend into the crater, it is to worship at the Kamlaja Devi temple. It is significant for its mention in the Mahanubhav story of Kannadev. It faces north to the meteorite entry groove. Abul Fazal in the Aini Akbari writes that this lake has all the requisites for making glass and soap. The water level is maintained by evaporation due to the hot and dry climate. And that's what causes the alkalinity and salinity of these waters. In addition, this area has a geological uh, peculiarity in that there is no calcium or magnesium ions in the rocks. In the absence of <laughs> these ions, the alkalinity is not neutralized. And that's what creates this soda ash lake. We were privileged to witness a local wedding during our visit. The father of the bride magnanimously invited us to their festive lunch. Legend has it that the lake was formed by a pool of toxic blood when the demon Lonasur was slain. The Daitisudan temple commemorating this victory lies outside the crater on a hill in Lonar town. This temple is the finest example of 13th century Hemadpanti architecture using interlocking blackstone. Note this lovely shilla at the Garb entrance. An inscription commemorates the visit of the 13th century Siona Yadav king Krishna. The plinth has typical tiers of engravings. 500,000 years ago in the lower Pleistocene epoch, genus Homo began to walk the earth, and a meteorite crashed onto their planet. Since then, this crater has been a mute witness to the evolution of man into the present age. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe, and we'll see you on our next journey. Thank you.